Hey guys, I'm in uh, Coral Gables, Florida, which is in southern Florida, just a little bit outside of Miami. We're on our way to Homestead, and uh, we had to make a stop here today for something pretty special. It's something that took me about two and a half months of work to be able to track down. Seems kind of silly with the backdrop I got, but I'm standing right beside the tree of death, the Manchineal. This southern Florida tree, it also inhabits coastal regions of the Caribbean, all the way up into the northern section of South America. It's home to a rather, uh, it's a, not a very nice looking tree. It's something you would probably look kind of beachy. It generally prefers brackish environments, which is what the type of water that we have below, behind us here. Uh, it's also known as Hippoman Mancinella. It's the Manchineal. So let's have a little talk about the Manchineal. I'm sitting here with Ken Setzer. Ken, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you for taking the time to show us around. Uh, tell us where we are, Ken. We are in the lowlands of Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden. So we're about 18 feet lower than the higher area where my office would be. Okay. So we grow a lot of uh, coastal plants here and, and uh, Caribbean plants and natives. Yeah, I noticed there. that we have a lot of uh, brackish kind of lagoons all around. So we saw yep. the signs for the crocodile warnings. Yes, you don't expect crocodiles to be here, but there's a nice brackish lagoons and mangrove type swamps. And a lot of those coastal plants require that. What are we standing by? This is the little apple of death, I think it means. In, uh, Spanish. Yes, Manchineal. It's Manchineal a wonderful tree. tree. Everyone should have one of these in their front yard. Do not eat. <laughs> do not eat, do not touch, leave it alone. Well, people rarely come to this part of the garden, but it's open. It's Can't imagine it's why. <laughs> it's a little hot in the summer. Just, just sell the fruit at a fruit stand at the end of the street. <laughs> Manchineal. <laughs> no, don't eat that. This spectacular fruit bearing tree has rightfully so earned its moniker, the Tree of Death. And the Guinness Book of World Records listed as the most dangerous tree in the world. Doesn't look very dangerous, does it? But the name is derived from the Spanish word manzanilla, which means little apple. This little apple has a very, very dark side. The manzanilla is a large, often reaching 50 plus feet tall, member of the family of spurges, which is most species are actually toxic in some form or another. And its most famous relative is actually the poinsettia, the plant we use at Christmas time. Every part of the manchineal is toxic. The barks, the leaves, the milky white sap that exudes, and especially the fruit. Touching, which you clearly saw me rub my head against some of the leaves, so we're gonna see how that develops. Uh, touching, ingesting any part of the manchineal can actually prove fatal. Even being in close proximity to the tree, the air is considered toxic and can cause headaches and breathing problems. Burning the cut wood may cause blindness. While raining, taking shelter underneath the manchineal tree would like being bathed somewhat in acid, and blisters or acute dermatitis can form immediately upon expo exposure to the sap-laden raindrops. Investing, ingesting the sweet-tasting fruit can cause immediate abdominal pain, vomiting, internal bleeding, and permanent digestive tract damage. It is probably, probably considered the most famous victim of the manchineal would be the Spanish conquistador Juan Ponce de Leon, who actually led the first European expedition into Florida in 1513. Native Caribbean people often use the sap of the manchineal to make poison arrows, and it is one of these sap-laden arrows that is said to have stuck Ponce de Leon's thigh during the Battle of 1521. Ponce de Leon and his troops fled to Cuba, where he died shortly thereafter of his wound. Plants in general generally evolve toxins for a purpose. It isn't fully understand why the manchineal has become such an evil incarnate. Toxins within the leaves and bark are often a very prime, uh, considered a primary defense strategy to prevent herbivores or insects from consuming the tree. But the fruit is usually not toxic, as is often the primary method of seed dispersers. Animals consuming the fruit then pass the seeds in different locations via their scat, thereby aiding the plant in its dispersal. Not a very good strategy if your fruit is deadly toxic. The manchineal is actually a coastal plant, as mentioned prior, and is generally uses, uses the sea as its method of seed dispersal as the fruit floats, a very similar style of dispersal to the coconut palm. In southern Florida, the manchineal is a very uncommon species, and it is a protected and endangered species. So if you ever by chance come across one, give it a wide berth and maybe a nod of respect and just leave it alone. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the tree of death.